Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Ross of Stammer AI, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a white label Zapier integration. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than what you might typically use, especially if you're familiar with the actual Stammer AI Zapier Zap, like this, or this one. These are the branded Stammer AI apps that allow you to connect your account, but it still shows the Stammer branding. This Zap allows you to send a message to a bot on your Stammer AI platform and it generate a response and then send back the results into the workflow. So instead of using this branded Stammer app, we're instead going to use our white label API, which allows us to hide the fact that we're using Stammer and still promote our white label version of the platform. So in order to illustrate this tutorial example, I'm going to use the input of Slack as a message, and we're going to have the action step be a webhook. And then once the AI generates a response, we're going to send that response back into Slack as a response, as a message. So the first step is to simply connect the Slack in this case, but this could be any sort of message input and just sent a test message. So let's test it. And then there we go. So we can see that a new message, this is a new test message for my automation. So that's what I just sent in the Slack channel. We're going to continue with that record. And then we're going to set up the webhook URL. Once we're inside the white label API documentation, we can copy over the values into our Zapier automation. So the first thing we're going to select is we're going to click on post, click continue. And then here's where we're going to change a couple of the different settings here. So we're going to change the payload type. We're going to change it from form to J. And then we're going to start copying and pasting over some information. So first we're going to copy and paste over the message AI agent API endpoint URL. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it in there. Next, we're going to enter in the couple of different values for under data. And to find those, we can see the information right here. So we need to copy and paste over chatbot UUID, query, and user key, like so. And make sure there's no extra spaces after it after these words, that might mess it up. Next, we're going to fill in the values for each of these. So the first one is query, that one's going to be pretty easy. And we're going to click the little plus button. And that's going to allow us to select the message that was sent from Slack, as the message that we're going to send to the AI agent to respond to. So that's going to be the message that the AI agent was responding to user key is going to be a similar action, we're going to click the plus button, and then we're going to look for user ID. And there we go. And then finally, the chatbot UUID, we need to go into your white label version of the platform. And we're going to go to a specific AI agent inside your agency level or inside your sub accounts. And we're going to go into one of the AI agents and we're going to look for UUID right here. And we're going to copy this value. And we're going to paste that value in right here. The final thing that we need to do, we can leave this the same wrap request an array that's going to be left as no, we're gonna leave file blank unflatten is going to be left as yes, basic auth can be left blank. And then finally, under headers, we're going to add authorization. Make sure you spell that correctly. And then we're going to write token, and then space. And we're going to get our last piece of information. So we're going to go back to the white label API. And we're going to see this API token section, which is our API key. And we're going to copy that to our clipboard. And we're going to paste it in like so. So it's token, then a space, and then we're pasting in the API token right there. That's going to allow us to now send messages that come from Slack to the to this specific AI agent. And then it's going to generate a response for us here. So if we click continue, and we're going to click test step, chatbot successfully answered, and here's the answer understood. So they're responding, it's responding to the message that I just uh, put, which was this is a new test message for my automation. So now this is going to be the message that we can send back to the user in Slack or use 
in any other step or way that you'd like uh, to use this response. So I could simply select send private message, select channel, and then click the plus button to port in the response under data answer. And so this is now gonna send the answer back through Slack where users can now see that information. And so I can see that in my Slack here that it just sent that response. So now this allows you to set up a automation using Zapier, but everything is still white labeled to your version of the Stammer platform. So make sure you follow the layout or the instructions for each of these different steps. Make sure everything's copy and pasted in correctly, and then everything should be working correctly. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.